you know. We didn't even know that he was teaching us what he was teaching us. You know, we were kids and this guy was a master already. The minute he put his hands on the piano, that's it. to meet someone like him and to have someone like him in your life. See his joy on his face, you know? That's where he wanted to be. Right. And to have one more weekend. Yeah, exactly. We'll do it. The best way to honor him. gifted as a as a keyboardist and then decided to go I'm gonna go play with James Cotton and Albert Collins. Make me feel alright. We met him, he showed up in a lime green and a tuxedo. Which you learn on the James Cotton <laughs> <laughs> he, had like a, he had a piano tie on it looked like and he had some bicycle gloves on. He was like and he had a mullet. He had a Canadian mullet. It's spiky hair, long hair, and it's like a lime green, like with tails, like, you know, short and long. He came in, and we were just like, damn. His audition was like, all right, let's play, like, thick and thin or something. And he just played a couple of things. We're like, all right, here. That's it. You can join. And then it was just like, done. And he was in, and that was it. always seem like the coolest dude in the world. You can't possibly quantify the impact that guy had. I can't imagine any band in history ever benefited more from a guy they just hired one day out of the blue. So it's an Ed, man. You ever jam with the Pope? And he immediately said, Yeah, that cat's got a strong left hand. <laughs> I remember we were making Southern Harmony or you know, Marco or whatever. I mean, I would play these things and I would always love to hear what Ed brought to the table. Just to have him in the room and to hear what he has to say, you know. He's so, he's, Ed is such an interesting person and he's such a good person and he's got a good heart. And that's what I've always loved about him. And he's a brilliant, brilliant musician. Good songs, they can play anyway. <laughs> 